Welcome, in this video we're going to look at how you can focus on broadcast traffic on your network. My name is Dara Delaney from Netforge. So before I start, in case you don't have LangGuardian or you're wondering, even if you don't want to use the LangGuardian product, maybe use Wireshark, how can you get a sample of traffic from your network? Well, an easy way is to use a span or mirror port off your core. Core is a good spot because traffic from clients, traffic from servers, traffic to and from the internet, a lot of data converges at that point. So it's an excellent location to start you know, processing or analyzing network traffic. So in my case, what I have is I have our LangGuardian product connected into the core on a monitoring or spam port here. And I have a management interface plugged in as well. So I'm traffic moving through this core, I'm receiving a copy. So let's see how we can focus on broadcast traffic. So here I am on the LangGuardian web GUI, and to look at broadcast traffic, simply type in broadcast into your to the search. I've got top broadcasters. Pick a time period, go look at 24 hours, run a report, and here we have a list of devices that, has, that are generating broadcast traffic. Uh, we see mobile phones here, we've got VMware, we've got some physical servers. And if you want to get a bit more about this, maybe if you want to resolve that to an IP address or maybe even a username, drill down. You can see here it's definitely broadcast traffic. But let's uh, let's resolve that to a maybe an IP or maybe even a username. So to do that, type in Mac. So you got top Macs and IPs. In the source, pop in that Mac address, run a report, and we got the actual IP address here. That's the last known IP associated with this uh, MAC address. So finally, if we want to know what user's device this is, just click on all reports, go to identity, and you want to go directory logons by IP. So the final piece of the puzzle, for this IP address, who's actually logged on? Uh, we've got a user called Leo Brown. So we know what the use, we know what the device is generating broadcast traffic, we know it's IP, we know it's Mac, and then we also have the fact that it's, it's Leo Brown. That's the user, that's who it is, so we need to ring them up, tell them we need to investigate the machine if it was causing a broadcast issue. So the other thing, if you're worried about broadcast, you also don't forget about multicast. Very similar, we're checking that out as well. So let me show you how you can do that with LangGuardian. Click on all reports, go for top protocols. What you're looking for in the source of destination here, put in 224.0.0.0 slash 4. It's the multicast range. Run that report, and you get a breakdown of what applications, what services are using multicast. I have a small amount. If you want to troubleshoot shoot this further, click on the traffic volume. You can see what IP addresses are generating multicast. Drill down again. And you can see the ports that they're using in this case is UPnP. So it's being broadcast out here from a, happens to be a NAS server on my network. 